In this section, I'd just like to share a case study that's close to home for me. So in 2007, I was living in the Bay of Plenty in New Zealand. And what had become common practice, unbeknownst to most public users of the school fields and park fields, was the use of endosulfan to, in this case, control earthworms that were causing issues with the play of ball, even for like hockey and on sports fields. So this is an image here of my son playing rugby. He would have been about that age at the time. Uh, they applied endosulfan and kids were then out playing rugby and they had serious allergic responses to rubbing their faces in this grass, strangely enough. So there was a huge public outcry on the use of endosulfan, particularly in New Zealand. But worldwide, we saw the use of this chemical banned in 2011. Um, so it was interesting to me in terms of the fact that we we're even using chemicals like this on school fields. And one of the local schools that I was working with started to adopt a soils first approach. So parents were very concerned about chemical use on the fields. They also had a waste production issue in terms of waste that was coming out of the school. So they began a waste reduction program by using worms. So they started to put all their organic materials, their cardboard, all that waste through worm systems. And then as a result, they ended up with a vermicast product that they could then use to apply on those playing fields. So they applied solid vermicast as well as liquid applications. And as a result, what they saw was an improvement in that playing field. So they saw a thickening of the sward, they saw a deepening of those turf root systems so that they could stand up to kids running across the field and digging in with their shoes. They also saw a significant decrease in the amount of weeds and thatch that was forming. Um, thatch pretty much disappeared. They also saw a reduction in the need for other inputs, including water and a reduction in plant stress. So for me, it was like a really simple um, approach that created very happy parents and certainly very happy staff. So simple approach, very cost effective, great outcomes for not only the school and the children, but everyone involved in the community.